Today in this video we are going to learn how to make trip indication circuit for MCB. If your MCB remains in trip condition then the lamp glows. Like you can see this lamp is glowing. MCB in off condition but lamp is glowing. If I turn on this MCB you can see indication lamp is turned off. Load is on now and along with this on indication lamp starts glowing. So let's discuss how to make trip indication circuit for MCB. Friends, if you look into the industry, along with this MCB, an auxiliary contact is used. This auxiliary contact is connected with MCB to make trip indication circuit. This auxiliary contact can be used with single pole MCB or two pole MCB or even for three pole MCB. So this can be connected with any type of MCB you can want. Process is simple to connect this. You can see a side cover of MCB. Previously, I removed this to connect this. You can see on the other side. I'm talking about this cover you need to remove this and when you remove it you will see inside like this now if I talk about this auxiliary contact you can see a knob attached to a handle this knob can be inserted in this handle like this now if you can clearly see two mountings are provided in the auxiliary contact here and here these must also be connected with MCB to fully interlock mechanically so I'm connecting this contact with cover with all the mountings interlocked. This auxiliary contact is now perfectly mounted with this MCB. You can see it is not coming out. On turning off the MCB, auxiliary contact will also turn off and similarly it turns on on turning on MCB. Now you will find these terminals in auxiliary contact. One, two, three. One of these terminals is common. One is NO and the remaining is NC. To find which one is NO and which one is NC, can be cleared with this circuit diagram. When you look closely, 11 number terminal shows here is common terminal, 12 number terminal is NC and 14 number terminal will be our NO. How we use this to make trip indication circuit, let's understand. I'm using two indication lamps right now. This green indication lamp is used for on condition. So the phase supply required to this indication lamp will be supplied through NO contact of this auxiliary contact. NO contact is at the bottom which is 14 number terminal. So I connected the wire here. After that this red indication lamp is used as trip indication lamp. So what I will do is connect the phase supply wire of this lamp with the NC contact of auxiliary contact. 12 number terminal is of NC contact. So I connected wire to this terminal. We need to provide phase supply to common terminal of auxiliary contact. To provide supply, I connected one wire from common terminal to input terminal of MCB. After this, we need to provide neutral power supply to both this lamp. So what I am going to do is, this neutral power supply for output load is to be looped to connect with these indication lamps by using another wire. You can see a neutral power supply is given to this indication lamp and through another wire, this indication lamp is provided neutral power supply. Now we need to provide input power supply to this MCB. So I'm using this red wire and connect one end of wire with input terminal of MCB. The power supply to load is from this point. So I'm connecting this phase supply wire to this point. For this MCB, trip indication circuit wiring is now completed. If I turn on the power supply, you can see trip indication lamp started glowing. For now, this MCB is in off condition. That's why this indication lamp is glowing. If I turn this MCB on, you can see that trip indication lamp turns off. Load is on now. Along with this on indication lamp start glowing. In place of on indication lamp, I used indication lamp used for voltmeter because it can show voltage measure at output. If I again turn this MCB off, you just saw that this indication lamp started glowing and this one become off. Let's see one more time. When I turn MCB on, trip indication lamp turns off and this indication lamp turns on. On tripping MCB, trip indication lamp started glowing and on indication lamp turns off. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching this video.